In the Bible, John, chapter 14, paragraph 6, we read that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. But what is life? The Bible was written in Greek. The Greek word for life is Zoe. It consists of three letters. The first letter is the Zeta letter. The second letter is the Omega letter. The last letter is the Eta letter. Here we see the serial arithmetic value of each letter of the modern Greek alphabet. Zeta is equal to 6, and the carbon atom has 6 protons. Omega is equal to 24, and the oxygen atom has 8 protons, 8 electrons, and 8 neutrons. Finally, eta is equal to 7, and nitrogen consists of 7 protons. DNA is a nucleic acid. Alongside proteins and carbohydrates, nucleic acids compose the three major macromolecules essential for all known forms of life. The chemical elements that make up human DNA are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. Hydrogen has an atomic number of 1. Carbon has an atomic number of 6. Nitrogen has an atomic number of 7. Oxygen has an atomic number of 8. Finally, phosphorus has an atomic number of 15. If we add up the atomic number, in other words the number of protons, in the hydrogen, the carbon, the nitrogen, the oxygen, and the phosphorus atom, the outcome will be 37. But, if we add up the serial arithmetic value of the three Greek letters that form the word Zoe, in other words life, the outcome is 37. 6 plus 24 plus 7 equals 37. This means that Zoe, life through DNA, consists of hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. If, based on the Bible in Greek, we write the phrase that means, I am the life, in other words, ego, I am a Zoe, then we will notice that its serial modern arithmetic sum is equal to 111. But, 111 is 3 times 37. In other words, it is equal to the number of protons in life atoms from hydrogen through phosphorus, plus the number of electrons in life atoms from hydrogen through phosphorus, plus the number of neutrons in life atoms from hydrogen through phosphorus. The most common isotope of hydrogen has zero neutrons, but the most common isotope of phosphorus has 16 neutrons. This way, the total number of neutrons is once again 37. As we have seen, the word Zoe, life, makes up the atoms of carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen.
The CNO cycle for carbon nitrogen oxygen is one of the two known sets of fusion reactions by which stars convert hydrogen to helium, the other being the proton proton chain reaction. Unlike the latter, the CNO cycle is a catalytic cycle. Theoretical models suggest that the CNO cycle is the dominant source of energy in stars having a mass of 1.3 times that of the Sun. One such star is Epsilon Andromeda. Its mass according to Wikipedia is 1.27 plus or minus 0 0.06 times that of the Sun. The Upsilon Andromeda A star system consists of four planets. Sapphar, Sam, Myridi, and Andromeda A, E. So, the question that arises is, if the word Zoe, life, through the letters that make it up, encode intelligible life, routed from a star system, basically using the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen cycle, to form energy in its environment. Life on our planet, Earth, relies on the energy, created by the sun. But, this energy, from the sun, due to the sun's lower temperature, is basically created by fusing hydrogen to helium, through the proton proton chain reaction. Does the Greek word zoe, life, therefore, refer to extraterrestrial, extrasolar, life?